I'm Jatin Chaudhary. I'm the co-founder of HR Network. We host engaging startup networking meetups in 25 global startup cities. And this particular show is Startup Roller Coaster, where we invite our founder friends to come and share ups and downs about their entrepreneurial journey. Uh, Amit, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me, actually. <laughs> If you can tell us a little more about Bright Fox, what are the amazing things you do in that? Bright Fox is, is into kids' domain and uh, we develop some innovative products for kids' uh, books, personalized books, uh, customized uh, merchandise, which are customized to each and every kid. So we, we uh, celebrate the uniqueness of each kid. So that's our motto. And when did you start it? What's the founding story? Yeah, so we started in 2017. and. Till 2016, I was in Yes Bank as a banker. I was vice president there and uh, I was in Mumbai and I wanted to start something. And so I came back to Ahmedabad, which is, I did uh, MBA from here. I'm Ahmedabad. And, but I went to uh, Yes Bank in Mumbai when I got a job offer, but there was a thing to do uh, something of my own. And so I have a very good support system here. I had a good friend also who wanted to do a uh, similar thing. So we, I came back, I left the job and I came back here and I started this firm after actually working on few, six months, working on different ideas. And then we finally uh, choose or uh, zeroed on this idea. Okay. And what are the interesting numbers that you may want to share about? Interesting numbers are like that we, uh, uh, by luck or by chance or by God grace, we were able to, uh, our first product got hit and it was uh, very well received by the uh, parents. So we, our main target segments are like uh, kids from zero to two, 12 years old. So the buying happens through parents. So parents are the main driver and they love the book, which we launched, which is called journey of super kid where we make a uh, customized storybooks for kid where they, they themselves are superhero. So they are not reading about Superman or Spider-Man. They are reading about themselves. And what we did, what did was we took their name and add a positive qualities to each alphabet. Jatin for, for J it could be a joyful A for uh, achiever and T for talented I for intelligent and N for noble. See how, <laughs> awesome name your parents have given you but they have never told you the story behind it so we develop a story about this all positive qualities and we went to a very good illustrated book printed book and then it is uh, shipped to their home and uh, the first year we uh, we sold around 10,000 book and till date in three years we have already sold around 40,000 books in India and abroad also Brilliant. So, uh, and uh, the idea is to talk about ups and downs, which has been the most happiest moment of your entrepreneurial life. Happiest moment uh, was when I saw the first order came, <laughs> when we uh, shoot some, we shoot some uh, emails and messages and indeed a small marketing test marketing. And within a few uh, minutes, we got first order and it was a very joyful moment because uh, we were thinking like, we don't know whether it will work or not. <laughs> so it was very joyful. And then we started growing. Uh, so that was a very interesting part of the story when we got first off, uh, order. And which has been the most difficult moment and how did you came out from it? Yeah. So difficult moment uh, we had like last year during this Diwali holidays only uh, in, a, in an accident, our three members, team members were uh, met, met an accident in a canal. So they were celebrating something like Diwali holidays in Ahmedabad and one of them got drowned and he died. And uh, that was a very difficult phase to win because we have a small team and uh, to get out of it and keep working and keep motivating guys to uh, do the work. And so that was a difficult uh, part of it. All, all other difficult things happen in and around. Mm -hmm. and huh, so that is, that is given because like financial things, the team leaving, some member leaving, that was all given in a startup. But this type of thing I have never uh, seen in my life. So that was a little difficult. We talk a lot about learnings from mistakes or failures. So uh, what are those things that you feel that and probably you could have done little differently? In this startup, uh, I, we have focused mostly on, on parents having a physical product with themselves. So we have cherished this feel and look and feel more type of feeling uh, with the parents. But 
we didn't know that this lockdown will happen so we we were work, working on some digital product but we were have, haven't finalized it and uh, i thought having some work on on a digital side of it uh, we would have expanded our growth in a much more uh, faster manner than on a physical product so that was a mistake uh, amit when try to do a rapid fire you can give a quick answer to it yeah. you written a book uh, which is your favorite book my favorite book is atomic habits by james clear and which particular activity you enjoy doing the most again it is reading book okay and if you were not running your company what else would you have been doing i would be right now in this last 4 5 years i would be doing some startup thing only uh, because i've already worked for around 12 years so i work in private private sector government sector uh, in bsu so i've done the all work, uh, jobs in in a way so i my whole uh, aim was to do some startup so mm-hmm. this not this company i would have done some something else and it's almost 3 4 years you are building your own business uh, so what advice you may want to give your younger self who is just starting up mm. so that is a little difficult one <laughs> i don't know you can the advice would be you to plan you don't have to plan too much don't go go for perfection uh, start as soon as possible fail fast and again uh, move and tweak here and there and start doing things so we when we launched the product we were like fully prepared we had inventory we had something even before validating the idea so that was a big uh, chance and somehow first product got hit but if that doesn't happen like that journey would have been difficult and if you were to describe your entrepreneurial journey in one word what would that be satisfying and uh, we have this thing that we ask uh, the person we interview they ask a question which we ask to the next person that we interview so deep lodari from all that deeps has asked this question what do you do in your free time apart from reading i watch lot of online courses like i am a lifelong learner i keep learning new things so that is my one of thing and uh, apart from playing with my kids so that is two things which i like and what's a big growth opportunity you are looking forward to in next couple of years so we are looking to expand into different market geographical market and going into some digital uh, product for kids because we now understand uh, the parent side we have a very good database we have a very good reputation so we are uh, not in the terms of teaching coding or byju <laughs> we are thinking of something else so i hope uh, that will also uh, take with the parents yep. and what is the question that you may want to ask other founder that i will ask in the next interview when to exit a startup okay awesome okay. and why should people join each i no it's it's awesome is is led by uh, jatin the awesome person <laughs> and uh, the community is uh, uh, like there are so diverse uh, communities of people all around the world have is it like joining each i and there is a lot of ideas and lot of activities so if you want to be in a startup world uh, each i is necessary thank you so much amit and we wish you all the